you don't take your life the way you want it to go, right? She has experience in class action litigation, representing employment and tort plaintiffs, and much, much more. And um, in 2010, she published Recognizing and Responding to the Needs of Low-Income LGBT client Clients. And that was through the Sergeant Shriver National Center on Poverty Law. So she comes from quite a bit of, a lot of knowledge base. A woman on the end, comes from Arizona. She came all the way to California. Her name is Abby Jensen. She's currently an appellate attorney for the Public Defender's Office in Pima County, Arizona, which is in Tucson. She's the Vice President for Tucson's Southern Arizona Gender Alliance, co-chair of the City of Tucson's Commission on LGBT Issues, co-founder of Prescott Area Shelter Services, and the first transgender attorney to appear in Arizona courtrooms in both of her genders. <laughs> Choices that I thought. And then we have Danny Kirchhoff, and Danny works for Transgender Law Center up in San Francisco, an awesome organization I'm personally aware of, and he is currently the helpline manager. He's a past director at TLC. He interned at Sylvia Rivera's Law Project, Economic Justice Project, Disability Rights Projects, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's done a lot. He's a 2009 Equal Justice Works Fellow, focusing on access to social services, homeless services, and public benefit bennies for the transgender folks in LA. So I welcome these three wonderful people who will give you a little bit of uh, extra knowledge. Thank you. So I, I, can you all hear me? Yeah. Okay, let, let me know. Um, so uh, I uh, have the honor of being here, Curtis of uh, uh, Doug and our mutual friend, Catherine Ryan Hyde, who was here last night and one of the generous donors that, that made this conference happen. And uh, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here. As, as Doug said, uh, I live in Tucson now. I've been, I've only been in Tucson for three years. Before that, I lived in Prescott, Arizona, which is uh, has the uh, distinction to some of claiming the uh, world's oldest rodeo, continuous rodeo. Uh, nice place. But um, as of this month, I've been an attorney for 32 years, uh, <laughs> which kind of blows me away. But you know, when I went to law school, the one thing I knew I was never going to do is criminal law. So that's what I've been doing for the last uh, 18 years. Um, <laughs> and uh, But I've never done a trial. So I, I, I I don't represent people who have been convicted and are trying to uh, uh, defend themselves. Uh, I do appeals, so I represent people who have already been sentenced and all, almost all of them are in prison. Uh, so that's what 